Hello everyone, my name is Jojo. Welcome to my channel Joyroot Jojo. It's a tutorial video series on Intune. In this video, we learn about compliance policies on Intune, how the compliance policies really works, and how it works along with conditional access. In other words, we cover the theoretical area, we understand what compliance policies are. And the coming video, we do the hands on. So if you like it, please subscribe and like the channel and if you have any questions or suggestions please put it in the comment section all right let's first understand what are compliance policies what are compliance policies compliance policies in intune allow you to define some rules that are essentially going to check certain things on person's devices to make sure that they meet certain criteria okay and of course if they do not meet certain criteria, then a couple of things can happen. You can have report being generated, audit can occur, or if you are working with conditional access, you can actually have device blocked. So there is a saying, if there is no shirt, no shoe, no service. So in the same way, if your device is not compliant, you will not have access to the organization application. The access is blocked. So let's check the ways to use compliance policies. So we can either use with conditional access or without conditional access. So with conditional access, if your device not, do not comply, they do not get access to the organizational resources. If your device not compliant while accessing the organization resources like OneDrive, SharePoint, Exchange, you get a message your device is non-compliant and access is blocked. So without conditional access, if your device do not comply, they do not get restricted but reports are generated for monitoring so the administrator can know who are our troublemaking users here who are troublemaking devices so in uh, so without conditional access what happens a mail can set up to be shared to the end user the report can be generated for monitoring purpose but the device don't get blocked what are the non-compliant settings the first one pin or password configuration which means uh, you have to meet certain criteria in the password. It should be alphanumeric. It should be complex password and without the pin or password uh, It's it's not allowed the device can be marked as non-compliant. So that is one setting the second one device encryption Device encryption is nothing, but you can enable the BitLocker or Any other encryption software you can even you can use some third-party encryption software If the encryption is not enabled you can mark the device as non-compliant the third one jailbroken or rooted devices ios we say jailbroken and in android we say rooted devices this is basically somebody has taken over the and or gotten the admin rights over the operating system and the downside to that the reason why that considered as a security risk is because the device is no longer being protected by the operating system digital signing and all of that so they could get malware on the devices and they could get virus on the devices so that is what uh, that is what meant by jailbroken or router devices so you can set that for the compliance and the fourth one is email profile email profile is something like uh, you should use the official outlook application to get email access so that is what meant by email profile and minimum os version and maximum os version is something like uh, you should use minimum uh, windows 10 on the device otherwise your devices will be marked as non-compliant and maximum also you can set it out like windows 11 and the latest uh, built number also you can set there windows health attestation is nothing but your device will be healthy like uh, it should not be affected by the malware or any virus so your device should be healthy if if not it can be marked as non-compliant what are the outcome of the non-compliance so first thing it can be remediated the device OS enforce the compliance. For example, the user is forced to set the pin or update the OS. So without that, he will not be able to proceed further. So that is what meant by remediated. And the other one, quarantine. The device operating system does not enforce compliance. For example, Android or Android enterprise devices do not force the user to encrypt the device. When the device is not compliant, the following action taken place. The conditional access policy is applied to the user the device is blocked and the company portal app notify the user about any compliance problems so that is the second outcome which is quarantine so this is the concept of compliance what are the compliance policies 
how it works along with conditional access. So in the coming video, we do the hands-on compliance. We'll create the compliance profile and we'll mark some device as non-compliant and block that device through conditional access. So till then, goodbye.